all right what's up with the youtube fam so listen i'm back again with another video and i got a crazy 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 story for us today and um somebody sent me this story like last month but i'm just not getting to it today my bad about that but anyways let's go ahead and get into the whole situation at hand and when you come through the door hit the like button for me if you're rocking with the channel but anyways man let's go ahead and get into it so before we move forward i want to say r.i.p to the victim by the name of destiny carter she was 22 years old and um she was put in a situation where you know um you know, it was very compromising for her life. And mm -hmm. the dude who ultimately got all of this started, he's still free, you know. And I like I always say in situations like this, if you're putting someone in a situation where they can lose their life, I feel like you should be charged as well, especially if they don't know what the hell going on. Now, it's speculations that she did know, it's speculations that she didn't know, but ultimately, we don't know. We can't just sit here and say none of that. I don't think we can do is speculate. But basically, long story short, um, you know, this young lady by the name of Michelle Silas, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She came to her home and caught her boyfriend, baby daddy, you know, the, the child's, the children's father in the middle of a sex act with this young lady by the name of Destiny Carter. Now, um, it's a lot of details that I do want to save until y'all watch this little clip I got right here. I'm going to break it down to y'all. They're going to tell y'all a basic summary of what took place, but I'm going to give y'all more details. And the details are very chilling, so yeah. But uh, this took place in Milwaukee at a place called um, New Hampton uh, Gardens, if I'm not mistaken. It's an apartment complex. And, um, you know, Miss Sala, she was, I think that's how you pronounce her name, Miss Sala, she was 30 or 31 years old. And she snapped, in my opinion. You know, I think that the, the disrespect that she had to tolerate when she came home, was unbearable for her and i don't feel like she should have took a life but you can't tell nobody what to do in these, in these situations and sometimes people snap and they can't control themselves but let's get into the video i'm gonna give y'all the details after this and uh yeah man i want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on it. let's go ahead and get into this though a fatal shooting during now a milwaukee woman is facing a first degree intentional hot charge police say they found the victim in the back of the head Monday morning in a bedroom near 23rd and Linwall Lane on the city's north side. According to a complaint, 31-year-old Michelle Silas told police she came home and found the father of her children having sex with another woman in the home. Prosecutors say the woman was killed while she was engaged in a sex act with the man. The complaint says an officer asked Silas if she shot the woman and Silas responded, quote, I didn't try to. She's currently in jail. Bail is set at $100,000. You can read the full criminal complaint right now. Homicide near Linwall Lane on Monday. This is 31-year-old <laughs> Michelle Silas made an initial appearance in court today. She's charged with first-degree intentional homicide. Prosecutors say Silas told police she shot another woman after she caught her in the bedroom with the father of her children. 22-year-old Destiny Carter was identified as the victim who died. This happened at the New Gardens apartments early Monday morning. Silas is due back in court on Tuesday. Okay, so y'all heard it. They were in the middle of an act, right? Now, you know, I don't want to say certain things because this is someone's child, it's someone's sister. So I don't know if this really is someone's sister, but I'm just giving y'all my, you know, my thoughts and opinions on this. This is someone's granddaughter and all of the above. But I got to keep it real. I got to state the facts, and it's already out there. So. I'm guessing that she was performing fellatio. She was giving head to the guy, whatever the case may be. And um, that's when she came in the house and got in the head twice. Now, the situation really got out of hand because he asked for a threesome with these young ladies. And I don't know, you know, a couple of people were saying in these comment sessions, you know, I was on some of y'all TikToks and stuff trying to get information and shit like this. If y'all see my name, that's why I was trying to get some more research done, but it wasn't too much I could find. But some of the people were saying that, that they feel like she knew about her and all these other type of different things. But some of the details in the case make you just scratch your head. And everything in this video is allegedly, it's not nothing that's factual because we really don't know, but I'm gonna get y'all what they're telling us. Okay, so he asked for a threesome and she came home. When she came home, the chain was on the door. She couldn't get inside of the house. She was wondering what the hell is going on. Why come I can't get in the house? Now, remember he asked for a threesome, but um, he finally let her in the house. And for someone to be doing something with someone repeatedly, you would think that there wouldn't be any doors locked. You see what I'm saying? So it was a problem somewhere. 
But she come in the house. They're doing whatever they're doing. And she gets mad. She gets irate. And she goes off on him. In the midst of her doing all of that, he starts beating her, allegedly. And that's when things just got out of hand. Now, she said she didn't try to take this young lady's life, but we don't know. I mean, I'm going to keep it real. I think she did. I ain't going to lie. But when she did this, when she, you know, popped the young lady in the head, and I'm only saying that no disrespect because of how YouTube is, but when she did that, the young lady bit the man. Now, I don't know if she took the penis from him, but he was hurting to the point where when he came outside when the police arrived or whatever the case may be it was he, he he was bloody you know it was all dripping down him and everything like that and i feel like that's what he get you know and it's like it's like she left a message you feel me like that's what you get basically in my opinion you know i'm i, I think weird so don't 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 take that to heart now but you know i'm real big on shit like that messages and all type of different stuff like that and it's like that's what you get for doing this you feel me but Michelle went to jail as you can see she got a hundred thousand dollar bond and she probably would end up making it and I'm pretty sure she'll be able to get off um whatever charges that she have due to the fact of it being her home and it's, it probably can be a passion a uh, crime of passion or whatever the case may be she's in jail for an intentional shooting but we don't know where this gonna go now um they got three kids together the children were at home she took the kids right after this situation which I really believe that's what she should have done, but um, it's just, it just crazy, you know? It's just crazy that you would actually do this at your baby mama's house and be so disrespectful to the point where you're getting fellatio in front of her. I don't know if anything like this was premeditated. I just want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this. I'm bringing y'all a story. I am giving y'all my initial thoughts and stuff like that but i don't really want to just say too much you know having these platforms and stuff like that i just want to make sure that i'm trying to sh I'm, I'm, i just want to be considerate of the families you know i mean miss disney lost her life which i really feel like she shouldn't have lost her life but if she knew about it what do you expect and nobody finna just sit there and get this type of disrespect this is another level of disrespect i feel like his ass should be in jail too he initiated this whole thing. I don't give a damn if the girl knew about it or not. He should have been a man and stood up and did what he was supposed to do. As far as not inviting someone to their home. I mean, shit, if y'all in a relationship, don't be cheating. But, I mean, if you are, go get a room. Have some decency. Don't just go to your house that you're sharing with her or to her house. Are you crazy? You fucking weird, bro. And I feel like he should be charged. For real, for real. Now, I don't know if Miss Destiny had any kids. I've been trying to find stuff about her for the longest. It's hard to find anything about her. This story's not getting too much light. It's not getting too much coverage. I appreciate my people from Milwaukee that sent me this. And you told me certain things. The One of the ladies who told me certain things. But I'm not going to say that because I don't know how true it is. You feel me? I'm not saying you're a liar. But when I bring stuff to the people, I want to make sure I'm bringing as much facts as possible. But let me know what y'all feel about this situation, man. I feel like it's a sad and unfortunate situation where people just don't give a damn no more about the harm that they can potentially cause someone else to go through. Or they don't think about the people that they're hurting in the midst of doing what they choose to do. If you want to be single, be single. If you want to do your thing and be in a relationship, you need to let the person know so they'll know how to move. They want to stay with your ass or they want to go. Just do what's best for you. And I feel like majority of the times the best thing to do is keep it real with people. Stop playing games with people's emotions and shit like that. People don't got time to play and people will harm you behind playing with them. Let their ass know what's up from the beginning. And if they're not rocking with what you want to do, leave. But don't try to stick around and play games because that's how you get your ass hurt. Let folks know what the hell going on so they can know how to maneuver, know how to move. And they possibly will probably stay with you. You never know. But I mean, I'd rather me keep it real with you and you leave me versus me lie to you and play games you lose all respect for me that shit lying to me and when i was younger man i used to do this shit a lot of every woman i was talking to i was doing the most but as i got older i realized like shit this is my life i'm gonna do what the hell i want to do and i'm gonna tell you what the hell going on and either you rocking with it or you ain't you feel me i don't give a damn i'm not gonna sit there and lie to you play no games here ain't nobody gonna make me belittle myself by lying that shit weird but anyways man i want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section 
Y'all like, come subscribe if you're rocking with me, man. I want to send my condolences out to the family one more time of Destiny. And uh, yeah, man, I'm sorry for y'all loss. And I hope that none of y'all get offended for me bringing that story. It is what it is. I just got a job to do, you know. And all my, all my people down there was hitting me up. Well, not all of them, but you know, a few people were hitting me up about this story when it first took place. And I said, let me go ahead and do the story. But anyways, man, that's all I got to say. Stay out of these people's houses. If you see any type of sign of somebody having somebody living with them, don't go to their house no more. If you choose to proceed missing with them, go get a room, whatever the case may be. But they should be keeping it real with you from the beginning so you know how to maneuver anyway. But anyway, that's all I got to say. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, and I'll holler at y'all later. Now, a Milwaukee woman is facing a first-degree intentional homicide charge. Police say they found the victim back of the Monday morning in a bedroom near 23rd and Linwall Lane on the city's north side. According to a complaint, 31-year-old Michelle Silas told police she came home and found the father of her children having sex with another woman in the home. Prosecutors say the woman was killed while she was engaged in a sex act with the man. The complaint says an officer asked Silas if she shot the woman and Silas responded, quote, I didn't try to. She's currently in jail. Bail is set at $100,000. You can read the full criminal complaint right now. Near Linwall Lane on Monday, this is 31-year-old <laughs> Michelle Silas made an initial appearance in court today. She's charged with first-degree intentional homicide. Prosecutors say Silas told police she shot another woman after she caught her in the bedroom with the father of her children. 22-year-old Destiny Carter was identified as the victim who died. This happened at the New Gardens Apartments early Monday morning. Silas is due back in court on Tuesday.